all deep down in my soul. Good morning, good morning. Jesus the Christ, our Lord, our Savior. 
Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey him when God's patience waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through the water. The word of God to the people of God. Thanks be to God. First Peter three eighteen through 20. Savior, Lord of Lord and King of Kings, to the one that shook and woke this morning, to the one that checked my name on the wake up list. Father God, I thank you this morning. Thank you that again you breathe your breath my body so I can have another day, another chance. Father God, I'm so thankful. So Father God, I come to your house today. Come to your house, God, to, to worship. I come to your house today to, to glorify your name. I come to your house today to to give thanks, God. To give thanks. And to magnify your, your presence. To magnify your presence right now. God, thank you for being in our lives today. Oh, Lord and Savior. The one and only. Lord, we thank you today that you've given us another opportunity just to be here, to arrive safely today. So given that opportunity today, God, we're going to praise and worship you today. Oh, Lord, today we're asking prayer for our ministers today, asking prayer today for our choir, for all that have joined us in person as well as those who have joined us virtually. Father God, we ask in prayer for the Jiggins family. Father God, we ask in prayer for the Richardson family. We ask in prayer for the Rain family. Father God, we ask in prayer for all those who are sick and shut in, who may be in hospitals and wherever they might be. We ask in prayer for our brother Hedgebeth and prayer for each and every soul that's out here. Ask in prayer for, for our own heathen family. Father God, you know all the names. You know each one. Just like you know every hair on the top of my head. So Father God, we just say be merciful. Be merciful, God, in this time. Ask in prayer for our cities. Ask in prayer for our country. Ask in prayer for those around the world. 
Father God, we still see there are shootings and mishaps all over every day. They're not just here in our city, but they're all around the world, wherever you might go. Father God, we ask you for those who are incarcerated, that you will look upon them, God, and show mercy. Asking for prayer for the homeless, those who are, have nothing to eat, nowhere to go. We're asking for prayer for all the lost souls that they may one day, maybe today, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus today. Probably just saying, thank you. We're saying thank you for being so merciful. These and many other blessings we ask in the name of the Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.
just heal it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Whatever amen. you're going through, there's nothing too hard for our God to fix. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I come to bring you the announcements for today. As Deacon Jonah stated in his prayer, we are thankful for those who are uh, in the sanctuary today and fellowshipping with us and those who are watching us on Facebook now, those who will be watching us on YouTube later. We pray that you feel the spirit of the Lord. Amen. 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 That we feel the here. Amen. One thing is you got to come with expectation. Yes. Right. You don't come expecting to get something. Amen. You ain't going to get nothing out of it. Amen. 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 And I got a little broken English with that. I know I'm a college graduate, but <laughs> I got to say it how I feel it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you got to come and Amen. Amen. And you just can't come and sit down and look at us. Amen. You gotta join in and know that God is, God can, and God will. Amen. Right. He's more than able Amen. to do anything. Amen. Amen. But Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. Connect with us on our social media community. We have YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, but Facebook is our most used platform. We are broadcasting on channel 18 and 13 of four local community programming. At 97.5 Digital at 11 o'clock a.m. each Tuesday. If you need to contact the church, please email us at coxmemorialfwbc at gmail.com. If you would like to sow a seed here to our ministry, we are located at 1632 Riddle Road, Durham, North Carolina, 27713. We also have two ways of online giving. The first way is Cash App, and that's dollar sign Cox Memorial. FWBC, if you see the church picture, you know you're in the right place. Amen. Amen. Also, we have Tithe, T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. You can go through Tithe List, a free app. You can download it on your phone, or you can go to our website, which is Cox Memorial Free with Baptist Church dot org, and give there. As I stated before earlier in the year, we do have to uh, replace our air conditioning system that was stolen from us in December of last year. But we serve a good God, and we just talk about God fixing it, so amen. we know that in His time, amen. that in His time, the things are going to work out, amen? amen. Maybe not in our time, because we know we're going to stuff right now. We want to be like microwave, but God don't work like that. So amen. we know in His time and in His plan, the things will work out, amen? amen. We want to say that June 9th at 3 o'clock, the uh, Deacons program will be here at the church. There are a lot of different groups that are coming. It's a musical program sponsored by Deacon and Mother Joyner. There is a flyer posted on our uh, church Facebook. It's flyers going around Facebook. As you see it, share, share, share. It costs zero to share. Amen. So we just want to let you know. If you don't have anything to do, you want to get some good old singing. Because God has blessed a lot of people to be able to sing and play and minister to his people. So come on out here and fellowship with us on June 9th. We do have a lot of different services that will be coming up soon and we'll let you all know. On the second Sunday in April, we will be celebrating homecoming and we have a guest speaker and his church coming with them to, in celebration of our homecoming here. And more information will be forthcoming regarding the different events and services that we have here at Cox Memorial. God is so good. He's faithful. Amen. And regardless how things may look, <laughs> regardless how things may look, God is still good. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we're going to just keep on moving forward. As we know, God allowed us to see a brand new month. Amen? Amen. Amen. The first Sunday of March. And that's something to thank God for. Amen. 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 Does anybody have a birthday in the month of March? Okay, anybody have? I don't have a birthday. My brother, uh -huh. he'll be 93. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And he will be good yesterday. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Like you say, he, he walked into the church. That's right. That's right, Amen. Brother Jordan. And we celebrate it. Amen. Every day of the ground is another day to give it right. And Colin's mother's birthday is March 1st. 
know that you have something that will never <laughs> lose its power. No matter how rough things get, it never loses its power. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, my, my mind, for some reason, has been on uh, uh, helping to build a church. Amen. Amen. They, uh, they were talking about Lent season. Amen. And uh, I looked it up. And uh, one person has something very uh, uh, humorous to say about that season. Right. And they said, is it a time to lose fat or is it a time to witness? All right. And it says some people have taken it to mean I'm going to give up something and stop eating something. Uh -huh. But no one has started to think it's really your focus should be on Jesus. Amen. And that your focus should be on trying to win souls yeah. to help get people in the church yeah. instead of trying to lose a few pounds. Amen. 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 And so uh, today, my, uh, my subject that I'm dealing with today is, uh, I'll give it before I get my scripture, <laughs> love makes the difference. All right. Amen. And I will see that when we are trying to win souls, that's there's something you just can't fake. Uh -huh. And that's real love. Amen. Amen. And that's the kind of love that Jesus gives that he puts it on the inside. Yeah. And, it show, and, it, and it shows up on the outside. Uh -huh. Let me pray and then we'll get started. We'll take off like a jet. Uh, hold on to your seat. Put your seat belt on, but don't let it stop you from getting up and dancing. All Amen. Right. Right. Praise the Lord. I have the Father be coming today, Lord, just to say thank you. Amen. God, for where you have brought us from, from and where you are taking us to. Mm -hmm. We know there's no limit into what God can do. And so, God, we, we let our minds, we, we hide our minds into saying where we're going to go. And we let you be in control. Uh, I'm, on a, I'm on a jet, and I want to be the power, but I realize there's a better power than me. And his name is Jesus. And when I give him control, the earth is not the limit, amen, but it's the whole universe. Yes. And for that, God, that's why I said thank you. thank you. Thank you, God, for your healing that's going to take place in the service. Thank you, God, for your salvation that's going to take place in the service. Thank you, God, for a great anointing, oh God, like we've never seen before. And for that, God, we give you all the praise and all the glory. And that, we say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I will be coming today from a... Very familiar scripture, amen, from uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, the 13th chapter. My text will be coming from three things, will, I mean, NLT, three things will last forever, hope, love, and the greatest of these is love. Uh, amen, praise the Lord. So that love makes the difference, amen. 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 It said, in 1 Corinthians 13, it was, if I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, and didn't love others, I only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. All right. Amen. And so there are a lot of people that keep a lot of noise and talk about love, but when it comes to showing it, you never see it. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, what my bishop said, love isn't love until you give it away. Right. Amen. So if you keep it to yourself and never share it with somebody else, you can't really say you have love for that person. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so it said, if I, if I have the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans, and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith, amen, and didn't love others, I would be nothing. Amen? amen. And so even though your, your prophecy, amen, may, may be great, amen, and all the things you say may come to pass, but it all seems to cancel itself out if I can't love my brother and my sister uh, who's sitting right next to me. Amen. So I have to realize that if I'm going to prophesy, I have to prophesy with love. And if I leave the love out, it said, I will be doing nothing. Amen. It said, if I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have nothing. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. And so, praise the Lord, and so if, you, if, I, if I gave these gifts, amen, and, and, and it, it would help, yes, it would help if I gave, if I donated a million dollars to an institution. 
Amen. But on the other end, if, if everybody who in that institution appreciated and it helped them, but once they saw my actions and saw I didn't love anybody, not even the people I was giving it to, amen, it would take away the effect of, of, of what the gift was all about. Amen. And so if I if I gave you a car today and talked about you tomorrow, yeah. amen, it, it would it would somehow lessen the, 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 the power of the gift because if I knew that even if your heart you hated me to my guts, the gift wouldn't mean as much. Amen. And so that's why we have to realize love makes the difference. Amen. Uh, lo love is, uh, is patient. Amen. If I'm going to love you, I have to say love is patient and it's kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or, or rude. It does not demand its own way. It's not irritable and, and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins. Every now and then, amen, we got to ask ourselves, amen, am I patient yeah. with the person that I say I love? Right. Or when I, they're trying to do something, I'm rushing them all the time and, say, and calling them all sorts of names. Uh, that is not showing what love is all about. Love, amen, is patient. Love will help you, amen, if I find you don't know how to do it. I won't talk about you, but I will help you. Amen? amen. So love has that kind of patience to realize you haven't got there yet. Amen. But it doesn't matter to me because I know that since I love you, by faith you're gonna make it. Uh, by faith you one day, amen. You you might can't dance, amen, like I dance. Uh -huh. But one day I know there's gonna be a dance in your praise. Right. You might not be able to shout like I shout, amen. But you maybe one day you may be able to say hallelujah. Now, it will make a difference in somebody else's life. I may not be the cheerleader like the lady sitting over there in the corner. Amen. But praise God, one day I might be able to cheer and people can cheer along with me. I, 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 don't, I don't mind that she can out cheer me. Amen. I just thank God for the cheer. Amen. I, I thank God that she isn't glued in her seat. Amen. But she can't give God a praise. And for that God, I said thank you. Amen. Uh, it said, love never gives up, uh -huh. never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every situation. Amen? amen. Uh, we got to realize, amen, sometimes things get rough in life, and we have to learn how to endure. We, we, we can't give up. We got to keep on moving on. Amen? amen. Praise the Lord. We got to keep on saying, Lord, the Lord, one song writer said, the Lord will make a way. Amen. Somehow. Amen. I, I might not understand how he's going to do it. But one thing I know that God is going to make a way somehow. And, and, and if I realize it now, if I really be honest about it, he's already made a way. I, sometimes I just haven't seen the, the, the outward appearance of what it is all about. But the down the road, amen, as I tell people and they say, oh, I, I, I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. I say, don't worry. But you can tell me you love me all you want to, but time has a way of telling on everything. Amen. Amen. If what you're saying is not true, time has a way of showing up. Amen. And it will let me know whether or not what you're saying is real or whether you're just trying, amen, to coax me along to get, to get what you want out of me. Amen. Or whether you're saying this because you love me so much, you want to see me prosper, want to see me do great things. Love has a way of like that. Love don't mind taking a back seat while you take the front seat. Amen. Amen. Well, the word says that he that is first shall be last and the last shall be first. That, that, that's God letting you know that I'm right there with you. Amen. You don't have to worry about being the first one in line. Amen. Because no matter how it turns out, when God is on your side, it's going to work out. Oh, uh, glory. Hallelujah. I can, I can give God the praise. Amen. Because I know it's going to work out. Amen. Amen. Oh, love makes a difference. Amen. It's that word lets us know that when we're thinking about things that, that we're thinking about, and somehow our thoughts don't seem to, to get it right, we have to realize something. That God lets us know that my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. But just as the heavens are higher than the earth, he says, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. 
So every now and then when I'm asking God for a blessing, I try not to limit myself. Amen. I try to say, Lord, I'm putting it in your hands. Lord, I need a blessing, but I don't know really what to ask for. And so, Lord, however you bless me, oh, Lord, I know I'll be satisfied. Because when you start blessing me, Lord, I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. Amen. Because you are in the blessing business. Yeah. And you have a bank that never runs short. Amen. And you, you have you have food, and you have a food bank that never runs out. Amen. You have a treasure house that never runs out of treasure. Yeah. And for that, God, that's why I'm realizing I'm realizing that I have invested in somebody yeah. who had more than I could ever think I could possess. Amen. He's that kind of a God, and he, he's the one, amen, that is able to make a way out of no way. Yeah. When it seems like life gets tough, mm-hmm. and you think you'll never have to make a decision like that, amen, <laughs> you say, oh, I'll never do that. I'll never have to make a decision like that. But when, when, when Solomon had a dream, and he, in his dream, he had the confrontation of knowing that he was inheriting a kingdom, mm-hmm. and that he was only a child. He said, Lord, I am only a child. I, I, I need to know how, I don't even know how to come in and go out of the courts. Lord, what am I going to do to, to rule so great of a people? He said, Lord, I, I, one thing I know I can ask for is that you can show me how to rule these people. The Lord said, since you have not asked for wealth, he said, I'm going to bless you with all kinds of wealth. He said, I'm going to give you wisdom so that you're able to, 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 to rule this kingdom. Amen. And it said, just a few days later, says Solomon, amen, who had, had, had been dealing with God and talking with God, he said, they brought to him, they brought to him two prostitutes, amen, who had went, who had had one had a baby one night, three days later, another one had a baby. But through the night, one lady went to sleep and rolled on her baby, and it died. And then she took and switched the babies, so that the lady who had went to sleep with her baby, when she woke up, she had a dead baby in her arms. And when she realized it wasn't her baby, she looked over and said, that's my baby. But the lady who had stolen the baby said, no. This is my baby, and the dead baby is yours. Well, when they took, the, 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 the men realized they had it, they get this matter settled, so they took, him, took the two ladies and the live baby to the king. Then, and see, when you start talking to God, God will put you in the situation that you thought you would never have to deal with. Right. And he, when he gives you a promise, amen, you don't know you have it. Until you got to use it. Amen. When you ask for faith, you don't know you really have faith. Until something comes in your life where you need it. Amen. And so here Solomon was talking to God, asking God for, 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 for wisdom and how to rule the people. And all of a sudden, here something comes up. Something you thought you'd never have to deal with. But I come to tell you, love makes the difference. When he when he they brought him the ladies, each one argued back and forth. The live baby is mine. Solomon realized he he couldn't solve the problem by listening to the debate. So he asked the, the man said, "Bring me a sword, and here's what we're gonna do." So since both of you are claiming that the baby that is alive is yours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sword and cut the baby in half. One mama will have one half, and the other mama will have the other half. The lady whose baby it was realized, amen, that love makes the difference. And it will make you do things you thought you'd never have to do. You think, if I love my child, I would never Give my child away. But sometimes you find yourself in a situation you can't take care of your child. Wouldn't it be better to give your child to someone who has wealth and love than to let them be on the street with you holding a sign saying, give me some food? Or wouldn't it be better if you gave your child to somebody who loved them 
and could take care of them and make sure they will have a life nourished with things that they need. Amen. This man had said, here's what I'm going to do. I don't want my child to be killed. Give my child to the other lady. And when, so and when, and when Solomon heard this, he said, I've already made my decision. Give the baby to the check to the lady who don't want the baby killed. Uh, love makes it. Love will make you do things that you really thought you'd never have to do. Uh, love will make you say, I, I don't want this baby to be destroyed. I'd rather give my baby to another lady so that he can live. Uh, love makes it. That's how it is in your church. When people come in, they can realize when you love them. They can realize, amen, when you hug that neck, that their love is in the hug. Amen. When you give them a kiss, love is in the kiss. When you shake the hands, love is in the handshake. Oh, uh, praise Lord. When you tell them, amen, I want you to be a member of my church, love is in the invitation. Uh, and love makes a difference. So every now and then ask yourself, when I tell somebody I love them, is it from my heart or is it just something I'm saying because I heard it? Uh, love makes a difference. Love makes a difference. Amen. Love is patient and love is kind. It will let me realize, amen, when, when, a, when a child comes into the church, that they're, they're, they're not, not like adults. Are. So an adult may come over and over again, but a child will tell you right quick, I don't like going there. And they say, why? Because those people are mean. Mm -hmm. They don't want me to talk to their pastor. They'll tell me, the pastor don't have time for me. But what did Jesus say? Suffer the little children to come unto me, but such is the kingdom of God. In other words, Jesus said, you got to have some time. For the children that come into the church. And let them know, amen, for well, such as these have faith, such is the kingdom of God. So you never make it into the kingdom of God unless you learn how to act like a child. In other words, learn how to forgive. Amen. amen when somebody does you wrong. Uh, don't go years saying, I don't like you anymore. Amen. Uh, you make me mad today. And before the church service is over, we're holding hands and hugging each other, telling each other that I'm glad you are my friend. Amen? Every now and then we got to realize, what am I holding inside that has stopped me from showing love? What am I holding inside that has stopped me from really being able to let my light shine? Amen? The word says, let your light shine. Yeah. And so one songwriter said, this little light of mine, yeah. I'm going to let it shine. But I come to tell you that, that in just a, a little bit of a disagreement, God didn't give you a little light. He gave you a big light. Amen. He said, for you are the light of the world. Amen? Amen. You, you have enough light to light up the world, to light it up, mm -hmm. and to let the whole world know that they have a soul that needs to be saved. Yes. Amen? Love makes the difference. Yes. And I just stopped by today to tell you that if you have allowed Jesus to live on the inside, yes. then you have love. Where it says, for God is love. And they that have God, they have love. And so I just stopped by today and said, ask, and when you begin to search your heart, everything in there that reminds you that you don't have any love, ask God to take it out. Ask him to replace anything like bitterness to replace it with love. Anything like hatred to replace it with love. Anything that says, I don't love my brother or my sister, replace it with love. Because we have come here to fill this house. Amen. Yeah. Fill this house. In other words, when, when, when the wheat and the tares were there, yeah. God had to make the sleep come on the people. Amen. Because see, the pastor has to have love. The church members have to have love. The choir has to have love. Amen. The deacons have to have love. The mothers have to have love. Amen. Choir members have to have love. Amen. Ushers have to have love. Everybody in God's house. Amen. Have to have the love of God. So that the house can be filled with love. Amen. So amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I just stopped by today to say, would you ask Jesus to come into your life? Ask him to fill you with love. Amen. And how do you do it? I just said, Lord, I'm a sinner. I used to be until I decided to let you be in my life. Once I decided that I need a Savior, I decided, I said, Jesus, here I am. I come to you just as I am for you to do a work on me. I realize I'm a work in progress. I have a lot of things that need to be changed. And everything may not be changed overnight. 
But Lord, I'm giving you the opportunity, amen, to work on me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not putting up shields and guards and, and, and trying to play Russian roulette. Uh, what you can have and cannot have, I give my whole self to you. Or I give myself to you. Oh God, so that you can work on me. Amen. If somebody out there is listening, I just stopped by the day to say, God is working on you. If you let him in your life, let him know. Love makes a difference. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If there's one today, Amen. let him come and give their life to Christ. Now is the appointed time. God is waiting on you. Amen. Mm -hmm. To give your life to him. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Wait on you. Love makes a difference. Amen. Faith, hope, and charity. The greatest of things. Thank you.